beauty of the Bow Valley reflected by local artist Chrissy Nickerson. I was very, very honoured when I was recognised by the town of Canmore. I had been participant in this process for so many years and have seen the calibre of people who have been honoured in the Mayor Spotlight and can't possibly say how honoured I am to be among them. My own creative spirit has been the product of amazing mentors, amazing teachers over the years and a real sense of other artists' passion for what they do and that gave me all the courage that I needed to forge forward as an artist. I started my art career in Calgary. I uh, was educated as a teacher and left my teaching career fairly quickly to go back to art school and start again and discovered my love and passion for metalsmithing, which was very unexpected and uh, apprenticed as a goldsmith and worked as a goldsmith for many years. Started my own business and then ended up uh, finding my passion for the gallery business through a traditional jewelry business. And then in gallery ownership it became very apparent that I, it was the perfect storm of education and I was very fortunate to have learned with support throughout and able to pass that on as a mentor and as a champion. From traditional landscape to unexpected terrain, Canmore artist Conrad Habing and Michael Cameron reflect the true Canmore culture. Elevation Gallery opened in 2001 and opened above the Avens Gallery and we worked incredibly collaboratively for those early years uh, to create a I thought a perfect balance of both traditional and contemporary artwork. I love the gallery business uh, for its constant surprises and the call for me to be as adaptable as any human being can be and the inspiration that I receive from both the art collectors and the artists every single day. Communities both large and small look to their artists to reflect their story and the story is historical, the story is environmental and the story is sociological. Artists are very equipped to convey the whole story for the broader public. Though certainly the environment affects everything that artists do in this environment, I think most inspirational is a creative cultural community that is unsurpassed in small communities across this country. Nice. I've been fortunate enough to be invited to participate in so many incredible community initiatives and certainly the most pivotal in my career here has been the Community Public Art Committee and I was fortunate enough to be both a, a member and chair for seven years as well as a board member with the White Museum of the Canadian Rockies and several other incredible committees. Moving forward, I think that I would like to find myself back in the position of practicing artist. I'm not certain that that's going to happen for the next several years. The gallery business still intrigues me every single day. I feel like this community has given me so much, I cannot possibly give back enough. <laughs> a sparkle in your eye, the way you make me smile, you took my hand. What would I do without you? You helped me take my very first steps, you helped me catch my breath, you stood